is Elizabeth Jimenez Montelongo, and I'm a visual artist, poet, and educator from San Jose, Santa Clara, California. And I am here in San Antonio for the opening reception of the Euphoric Dance of the Unconquered Mind, which is my solo exhibition of 32 oil paintings on canvas. Well, this exhibit is the Euphoric Dance of the Unconquered Mind, and it's um, oil paintings of Mexica dancers, which are often known as Aztec dancers. And the dancers, um, we call them danzantes, are from the Bay Area, um, San Francisco Bay Area of California. And I, I photograph them and um, paint dancers in motion because I want to capture the energy of the dance, which is a very, um, you know, like long tradition um, of indigenous peoples of the continent. Um, the dances that I mainly photograph are, like I mentioned, uh, Mexica, so from the area um, that is now central Mexico. And these dances are still practiced across the, the border now. And so I think, like to me, it's something very special that it's um, a tradition that's crossed like all this time, like all this history, and also like, you know, space and all these like borders that we have now. And so um, to me, it's just a very special tradition and um, it's something that like I really feel the energy when I see um, the dancers in motion and there's um, the like tall drums that are called wewit and um, there's like incense the feather headdresses and all that like movement and energy and the sound everything like it's very like sensory experience and so I try to capture that in the paintings well I, I welcome it. like anybody to come to come see the show um, if they enjoy artwork, if they enjoy colorful artwork, and if they, you know, have an interest in like indigenous culture or have indigenous roots, indigenous heritage, um, I think they might, you know, they might enjoy seeing these paintings that, that celebrate our, our, our indi the indigenous side of our culture and heritage and, um, you know, just enjoy that and be here with everybody that, that will, um, you know, be visiting for the exhibition, especially for the opening on Tuesday. Uh, I think it'll be fun. Hello, my name is Leila Hernandez. I am um, from El Salvador. I reside in South Texas and this work is a personal view of where I live, which is very close to the border, and I hope that everybody enjoys uh, what I've presented here for you. The exhibition actually is a part of my experience in living in the valley, in, uh, close to the border, and it's talking about immigration. I am uh, from El Salvador, so I, uh, I am also an immigrant, and I kind of understand some of the issues that are presented here in the exhibition. It talks about, it actually has three different components to it. It has Las Labores, which actually talks about the kind of work that uh, immigrants get that don't have paperwork. So it's that kind of, in a way, easy to get jobs, but they're not easy to do. Like we have the lawnmower, we have the lady who cooks, the lady who cleans, and all of these jobs are really hardcore jobs. I mean, I, I want to make it as a salute to the amount of work that these people are willing to do in order to live their life peacefully, you know, because many of them come from areas that um, have a little bit of a problem, a lot of a problem, uh, political and economical issues. So when they come over, they're willing to take these jobs and not only one, but probably one, two or three, as many as it takes to make a living. And then the other part is the tapestries that are made out of bed sheets. And these are more uh, talking about the border itself, uh, showing the, uh, it's not really a wall, it's more like, I don't even know what to call it, but it's, it's, it's disrupted everything. Uh, it, locally too because sometimes they have built the wall right in between areas where people live and also disrupts you know the flow not only of, of nature you know but also of people and it doesn't make a difference if they have that they still cross over you know and then the last part is having to do with the children and it's called Kokonetatok, which means I hope I pronounced it correctly it means uh, like the nanny falling asleep 
you know, because you wonder about all these children that are crossing over. Many times they come by themselves, many times they come with parents, and many times they are actually coming with people that uh, brought them against their will. So the orange in the, in the exhibit kind of represents a little bit of that, of, of you know, being in jail. You know, and it's not only a conceptual jail, but it could also be a physical jail. Many times these children can suffer, and, or sometimes they suffer mentally. So uh, they're presented in, in different um, lights. I have been talking to different people, and I tell them about the exhibit, and they get excited because I tell them about its immigration. It's about um, having a salute to immigration. But many times there are exhibits that are, are focus a little bit more on the negative side and when you leave the, the exhibition it's like you feel kind of a burden already. I mean you already have that burden but it feels a little bit heavier. So the artwork here is trying to put a little bit more of a positive spin to the situation which is it's not the best you know but um, also a salute to the hard work because if you think about all the things that the immigrants go through to get here, it's insane. You know, they have to go through all these rivers, you know, walk all this uh, areas that are not suited for walking, and, and it's dangerous, you know. Many things, many times they don't make it, you know, and it's, it's amazing that they're so resilient, you know, to, and, and not only when they get to Mexico, they still have to find a way to cross over, you know, sometimes they do it illegally, sometimes they do it legally, um, but it's, it's, it's a hardship but that I think needs to be recognized, you know, and needs to be uh, presented to the public and hopefully this exhibit will do that, will, you know, give people another view of, you know, a current but also historical situation that has been going on for a long time, you know.